Good morning. We are starting this vlog off very sleepy. Hair's a mess. We'll have to figure out that. We're going to solid court today. But I'm starting the vlog off. I'm so tired. Colin is still sleeping. And I am up and in here with Sutton and Murph. And sorry, Murphy. He's up and ready to party at one in the morning last night and didn't fall back asleep until 3 30 so and i had to, i got up at seven with her because then she was up again and ready to go so we have an early uh solid core class this morning so i'm getting ready for that i've made coffee i went out in the kitchen to make my coffee while she was in here and then all of a sudden she was in the kitchen i was like oh hello hey <gasps> good morning here Okay, anyways, sometimes it's hard to get ready because she just wants to come in here. Which, I mean, it's fine. She can come into the bathroom, but I just prefer her to be in there. I think we're going to do the, like, bubble ponytail that I did for yoga the other day. We're having a hard day today. Sutton is, Sutton's very, like, emotional. You okay? First thing I do is I just put my hair up how I normally would, and I leave the front two pieces out and part my hair with this little brush tool situation and um, honestly my part is just not perfect it never really is here she comes and I just kind of start flattening out my hair a little bit it's super dirty but I have hot yoga tomorrow so I'm waiting until um, after hot yoga to wash it and then I'm gonna do like a leave-in oil treatment while I go to hot yoga um, you know, to multitask. And I'm just putting it back into my normal hair tie. I have these like silk scrunchie do, and I got these off of Amazon, and they are my new favorite scrunchie. They work so well. I got them when I got the seamless underwear, because <laughs> I was like, okay, whatever, we're just having like a seamless situation. And you know, they actually worked out perfect. So, okay, here's what I do now. So pull those top two pieces out because you're going to want to pull them back. Now, once you have your front pieces out, you just take them and you pull them right back into the ponytail. My postpartum hair loss also came from here all the way down to like my sideburn area. And so my sideburns are like slowly trying to regrow back. And so it's just like honestly a disaster. And then my baby hairs right here, we will pin those back. Don't worry. This is key. This is also kind of key for a slicked back bun. If you have the perfect slicked back bun and you don't want to use an oil treatment in your hair, if you combine this, head, head hair stick maybe, and if you combine this with the way that pomade, those two products together are perfect. Since I'm doing the oil treatment tomorrow, I'm just going to take this. You just push it up. It's like a pop. So what are those things? A push pop. And I'm just going to pull my hair back and then start slicking like this part of my hair back and then bring it down my side of my head. This just gives you like that snatched ponytail look. Bring back the hair into the ponytail. We're gonna take some clear elastics and just put them down my hair. Close to the top and my hair, my hair is getting like really thick, which is cool. Um, I think that those oil treatments are like totally working. But I only do two loops. And the first one I do kind of close to the top of my head because I have layers. And so I want to make sure I get the layer like tucked into the first one so it's not like popping out, you know? So if you have layers, kind of do your first one close to the top. Last time I did this, I fit four instead of three. So that's what I'm gonna try to do again. And also, pro tip, Put these hair elastics in your purse, like put some of them in there because if one of these snaps then your hairstyle is going to be weird because one of your pony thingy snapped and um, like while you're out and then there's not much you can do to fix. If you have extra of these then it's a quick fix, you know what I mean. And then from here, once you have all four, then you can kind of like bubble it up but do that after. I'm sorry that I've only been filming in the bathroom, but I just got ready. I'm wearing aloe yoga bra, and it like cinches right here. It's so cute, except I just tried to breastfeed Zen and she would not eat, so that's not good.
back home and I'm about to shower but I'm gonna leave my hair as is solid core really feels like it's doing something for me which is why I'm obsessed I'm gonna take Colin because he just got class pass and like my arms and everything just feel more toned hi so anyways showering but leaving my hair in this I've finished working. I had a video due today and put up a new video for you guys. And also, Colin is making dinner. We're doing an every plate meal tonight. It's the loaded pork potato wedges, and it looks so good. And I wanted to thank Every Plate for sponsoring this video. So I'm sure you guys know by now, but we love Every Plate. It just comes right to your door with all the ingredients and the recipe cards. So it tells you exactly how to make each recipe with pictures included. It is so simple and it is quick and easy and great for our family. And it is tis the season for the sales. And I think it's the perfect time to try America's best value meal kit and add Every Plate to your holiday shopping list. Or you can also give it as a gift. I feel like it would be a really good gift for a young couple, a family that just had a baby, your parents, literally anybody. Such a great deal at a very affordable price. At first, Colin and I were kind of skeptical, thinking meal kits were going to be super expensive, but now we're convinced every plate is the best because you can get those same delicious meals at such a lower price. Essentially, you can make fewer trips to the grocery store and your meals are ready in around 30 minutes or less. Colin and I are infamous for getting takeout when we have no idea what to make, but we never have that problem when we have every plate delivered. And also, like I said, every plate makes it easy with meals and recipes for everybody. So you can choose from family friendly, quick and easy, meat and veggie, or also just veggie so you can try whatever you want without committing to one preference and also you guys can get your first box for just a dollar 49 per meal by going to everyplate.com and entering the code bianca149 so that's everyplate.com code bianca149 and that's up to $110 value so I will have the link and my code in the description box for you guys Colin just finished dinner for us mm. did you try it? I haven't tried it. I mean, I just had a potato, but I'm sure it's really good. It is so good. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Every Plate, for sponsoring this video. And everything you guys will need to know is in the description box below so you guys can click. Nice and simple and easy. And we are obsessed. A single shot. And you're all the way over here. Wow. Morning, Murphy. We've got yoga this morning. It's at 9.30, so we're up. Last night, I slept with um, a pimple patch on because it said you can leave on for eight hours. I'm not, I got less than eight hours of sleep, so I'm taking it off. It's on my forehead because I have this like one zit on my forehead and it's really bothering me. That didn't hurt today. Okay. I'm so impressed with these Mighty Patch pimple patches from Target. So I think I'm gonna go get more and put them in mine and Colin's stocking um, as like a little stocking stuffer because they work. Okay, I'm doing my JBN pre-wash scalp oil treatment. Um, also, I've been seeing everyone on TikTok doing like rosemary oil in their hair. And so I looked at the JVN ingredients because I was like more than positive that the main ingredient is rosemary extract and it is. So I was about to be like, oh crap, I need rosemary oil, but there's rosemary oil in this. So, um, plus a few other good things for your hair. So I'm just letting you guys know because I've been talking about it a lot. Okay, oil treatment in and then I just French braided the rest of my hair and I'm just wearing a sweatshirt top of my leggings and it's 31 degrees outside so it's a full one okay so I'm in the Starbucks drive through we just left studio fire I think that and Kayla and I were talking and we like yoga six better um, like the class better of yoga six, but I like studio fires, like studio and location better. Um, and it wasn't the instructor. Like I really like the instructor. It's just, there's this one girl named Lily at studio fire who Kayla and I like really like. And so, um, 
yeah I had a good time though like um it wasn't a bad time at all like I would recommend going for sure I'm just saying like and I will go back it's not like I won't go back I'm just saying um studio fire and valentine there's an instructor named Lily who teaches their hot class and I liked that and I liked also how their hot class is the same at um, yoga six I think I might have just said studio fire on accident there's a instructor at yoga six named Lily and we really like her hot class and at yoga six the hot class is always the same flow so you can like I can get good at it you know and I can practice it but it was nice to challenge myself because I was doing poses here that I have never done before so that was fun too um and everything but yeah anyway um I'm going to get a new drink at Starbucks hi can I please get a grande um toasted vanilla shaken espresso in South Park that's where studio fire is and the mall is right here I wish I looked nicer I would go into the mall and look for some more Christmas decor but at the same time I don't want to go into the mall and look for more Christmas decor just like shopping in person just is not it for me anymore I'm like I like online way better it's way more enjoyable Thank you. I don't love it, but I'm gonna drink it because it was $6, but I will say I like the brown sugar way better. Just showered and then I was doing my hair routine and I realized somebody asked for me to show you guys in depth of what I do with my hair. So I stopped doing what I was doing. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I do with my hair. Let me close this stuff. JV and hair oil has rosemary extract, which is what you're looking for and a pre-wash hair oil treatment is the rosemary. So if you wanna get this one, get this one. If you wanna get like a different one on Amazon or something, get that. I just haven't used those before, so I'm not gonna recommend. Okay, the shower head filter from Amazon, I 10 out of 10 recommend your hair will feel different um, if you don't have soft water. So if you have a hard water shower, um, get the filter, it changes your water from hard to soft, and it makes your hair so much more soft. What I do in the shower. So I double shampoo my hair because I do an oil treatment. So I shampoo, rinse it out, and shampoo again. First shampoo is with the Way Detox Shampoo. I've been using this forever. I only wash my hair once or twice a week, so that's why I use this. For my second shampoo, I use Day. I'm obsessed with these together. They're so good. On days that I do hair mask in the shower, I use the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. I love this hair mask. I've been using it for years. I've already done that mask during the week. Then I will do the K18 mask. So if I'm not doing that, then after I'm done shampooing my hair twice, I don't do anything else to my hair in the shower. And what I will do is use this. It's the K18 Bio mimetic hair science leave-in mask and you put this from your ends to your roots this after you towel dry your hair and after you've shampooed you do not condition if you use this um because it literally is conditioner it's just you put it on outside of the shower there's that also i always brush my hair out with a comb you start i already did that too so you start at the ends and then work your way up to your roots next product i go in with i benefit beauty treatment from this brand I just do a few sprays of this. Hi Murphy. Like I just kind of put my hair up like this. And I just do like a, a few sprays. And this smells so good. It smells amazing. And then last thing that I do is I use the R & Co High Dive Moisture Cream. And I mix this with just two drops of my Olaplex Number no. 7 Bonding Oil. This goes from here down on my hair. And I do not do a huge amount like I just do a little dime size of this and then I did just order anti-frizz spray because my hair is just so frizzy but um and then like you just tap your hand twice with the oil and then rub this together I just don't think the spray is going to get here until tomorrow but that's okay and then just work it into your hair like this I'm going to go ahead and start blow drying because it's time here's my blow dryer and it's the flex style so you can use your attachments with it um, but first thing I do is just do a rough blow dry so because my hair is a little more frizzy I try and get all the roots dry and then um, really focus on like the top part of the back side and then the ends are still damp and so is like the inside and so that's when I go and I switch and I use the flat brush attachment. This is my fave. 
Um, you can keep this bent if you want, but I think it's easier to, well, then you'd have to flip that around. I think it's easier just to have this big old straight thing. So now I go in with a flat brush. Here's my hair so far, um, so soft and so shiny. The top is really important because this whole section can get so frizzy for me. So I'm going to start blow drying, but I'm gonna um, pin the top pieces up in a clip again and just focus on all like the surrounding areas first. <laughs> Now, for my bangs, before I go in with the flat brush, I literally just hold them straight up and blow dry the roots. Now, all we have left is to part and then oil. I've been doing kind of like an off-centered part lately. This is how I've been liking my hair, though, like kind of straight and then throughout the day just like because my hair is since my hair is naturally curly it will kind of just start doing its own thing so i just kind of let it do its thing you know um oil again is jvn just shine drops um not the pre-wash and then i just do two i feel like that's a good amount for my hair and um just kind of like comb it through and get all the ends and i have layers so i kind of like go up a little higher um, but not the roots. Don't do your roots. If you're gonna take anything away from this is to get a shower filter on your um, shower head if you don't have soft water and To do the pre-wash oil treatments. It doesn't actually make your hair oily. It actually makes it less oily which um, Originally, I thought it would make it more oily, but not true. I had to open the door because I'm getting so hot um, I'm going to try out this concealer hack that I saw on TikTok and I really only wear concealer during the day so I've got this recovering I've got a dark spot over here I've got a scratch from Sutton I've got more like scratch 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 she like really gets me sometimes I need to cut her nails again even though I feel like I just did it but yeah she literally can scratch the crap out of me so anyways I'm using the Kosas concealer because that's the concealer that I have but you're supposed to go like this and then bring it all the way out <gasps> That's already so much concealer. Hold on, I need to open the TikTok. I'm just getting nervous. Down your nose. Around. Down. Around. Down. Right? You go. Down. Around. Around. Center. And then you bring it out and then from here you go back and then you go back and this is what people are doing on TikTok. let me get this since it covered up i mean scratch god working it in working it in um i mean okay <laughs> i don't know you guys okay let me finish my makeup but my Cheeks are so red because I'm so hot. Maybe I should go outside. Running to Home Goods and Lululemon. <laughs> Mom, like I should I stuff my own stocking, right? Like, do you guys do that? Get stuff for your own stocking? Like, we're doing Christmas at our apartment first before we go over to family's house this year. And so, like, for my stocking, like, I would get what I want for my stocking, right? I, I just don't really feel like relying on Colin to do what I want him to do for my stocking. So I think I should just get it myself, right? That's my question. Anyway, I just got home. I did get the yoga mat for him, so that's nice, but he's going to open it right away. But he knows that's part of his birthday present. I don't know. You know what? It's a little... It, it benefits me for sure, so... 
call it what you will. When he goes to yoga, he will be using that mat. But um, I also stopped in Target and I got some stocking stuffers for his stocking. I got some Skittles and then I got this cologne set from um, Goodfellow. He's out of cologne, so got him a whole set. And then I also got him some of these pimple patches because these things are my new fave. And now I'm going to go inside. I did an online order from Ulta for some stocking stuffers for Colin and me, just like little things, but I got an extra one so I can have it now, but I got a Touchland hand sanitizer um, in Vanilla Blossom. I've heard good things and I just wanted to give it a shot. Ooh, cool. But like when I'm out and about in places and stuff, oh my God, that smells so good. Wow, get a little blossom. Anyway, she's going in my purse. And this will just be nice for being out and about and stuff, you know? But, oh, I'm obsessed with this. <gasps> Say hello. Hi. Say hey. <laughs> Who left the cabinet open? Uh, probably me. <laughs> <Certain> <laughs> wait, spot, wait, wait. I need a picture. Can I take <laughs> Murphy, come here. Murphy, come. <laughs> woke up from her first nap of the day it's 11 you know we are kind of going through a little bit of a sleep regression but that nap was a good nap so I'm proud I did coffee you know all the normal things and updated my revol favorites and honestly just kind of was chilling and then when she went down for a nap I started getting ready um like midway through her nap now she's awake um anyways here's up but I'm in skims she's in kite baby you're a cute baby. I feel like lately I've just been so into makeup. Also, my mom's on her way over right now. Colin's um, got a shoot today, so she's coming over to watch Sutton for me while I go work out. Love my mom, she's the best. And she's gonna get some Sutton time, but yeah, she's on the way over. Anyways, this is my solid core makeup. It's literally just concealer, blush, bronzer, eyebrows, mascara. Simple changed and this is my outfit for solid core wearing all set active a better look isn't it so cute i know like the cardigan and stuff is really in right now too but yeah here's my outfit anyway my mom's almost here driving to solid core and i just realized that i forgot to tell you guys something when i was talking about my hair routine and i didn't do it last night because i usually don't do it like the first night i wash my hair because like i want it to be straight and stuff the next morning unless i want it to be wavy but sleep with your hair in french braids i used to sleep with my hair in like high ponies i used to sleep in like low buns and that's not good for your hair apparently so i've been sleeping with my hair in a low ponytail on like right after I wash my hair because I have to have my hair up in like some way. I just don't like when it's all on the back of my neck. So I do like a little bit of a low pony um, the first night. And then I use those like silk scrunchies that don't crease your hair. And then after that, like after today, I'll start sleeping with my hair in French braids. And then you just wake up with like nice little waves. Um, I haven't tried the like heatless curls yet I, I just like don't think that that's gonna be comfortable to sleep in and I don't even get a lot of sleep to begin with anyway because Sutton's up like throughout the night to eat and stuff so 
it's like when I'm sleeping, I want to be comfortable. So I haven't tried that. I don't really plan on trying that anytime soon. So that's why I've been doing just like the French braids, look more protective and less damaging on your hair. I'm taking Murphy to the dog park and my mom's going to get dinner for us with a little Paula's koala. Look at her. Okay. <laughs> She's like stuck in there. <laughs> Hello. We've spent the morning. I drank my greens. Then I got ready for the day, and now I've just made the executive decision because we have a few hours before Colin's parents and Connor get home. Connor's 21st birthday is today, so we're going over there later. But um, he's coming home for Thanksgiving. Tangled's on this chaos over here. We're gonna decorate for Christmas. I don't even have much stuff. It's basically like a tree and some things, but I'm putting it up. Thanksgiving is in like less than a week, so. Scooted that over, which this is now centered with the couch anyway, so I'm excited. I need to figure out where I want to put that in the meantime. This is what our tree is going in. It's a basket from our house and it is so cute. It was back ordered last time I looked. I luckily bought it before it went on back order. But this is going to be the base of the tree. And I saw this base plus our new tree on TikTok and I loved the combination of it and it just looked really classy. So I'm excited about this. Let's hope you like it. Holly hanging across the door Neighbors singing tales of yore It's so close, hardly can wait Waking up on Christmas Children dreaming without a care Tis the season most everywhere So come home there's no better place waking up on Christmas Day. Tinsel wrapped around the tree, snowflakes dancing in the street, presents tied up with a string for you. Oh, no, nothing. What's the truth? Waking up on Christmas. 
We have the tree. I still need to figure out that area, but Colin's been building something for his uh, video, so it's kind of a mess right there. Um, I put a blanket around that so Murphy didn't chew it while we're gone. I don't think he would, but you know, I'm scared. And then this area looks like this. The basket is still over there. Over here, these are gonna go with the flowers. I just need to figure it out. Like I'm probably gonna stack, like somehow stack. We need to figure out what we have to go. Okay, we stopped. Um, we're stopping at Target and lululemon i was just here but we're coming back because we need to get connor's birthday present so it's either going to be a gift card or a shirt and pants or something shorts who knows we'll figure it out can you knock it out no i'm not doing oh yeah. where are we going oh, show daddy right there Oh yeah. Secured the bag. Oh, yeah. Literally. 